In example 4.2, we are asked to write a balanced net ionic equation for the electrolysis of brine. And I've rewritten what we're given on slide 27. Okay, a balanced net ionic equation. And the keyword is balanced. And we always have to balance a reaction before we get the net ionic equation. Notice chlorine, for example. There's only one on the reactant side and two over here. So I need to balance by inspection before I write the net ionic equation. So let's look at sodium. One and one. That's good. But chlorine, I mentioned, is not. So I'm going to put a coefficient of two over here. So now I have two chlorines and two chlorines, which now means I went to two sodiums. So I need two sodiums. You always have to double check everything as you do these iterations. How about hydrogen? Okay. Two here. Two here. Okay. But two more over here. So a total of two and four means I need four for my reactant side, right? Two times two is four waters in this, or sorry, two waters, four hydrogen atoms. Okay. Then I look at oxygen, two and two. All right, that was lucky. So now I have a balanced reaction. Okay. Two sodiums, two chlorines, four waters, and two oxygens on each side. That was balancing by inspection. Now I go to write the net ionic equation. This thing that I have to start with is a CME, a complete molecular equation. So my next step is to write out the complete ionic equation, which means I take everything that's ionic and aqueous and split it up. And that is NaCl and NaOH. So I split that up into its ions. So two NaCl means that breaks up into two Na plus, and two Cl minus, because okay? it was two NaCl units, so I, it splits up into Na plus and Cl minus, and there are two of them. And those are aqueous, just like its predecessor. Anything that's not ionic or aqueous stays together, so H2O is a liquid, that's gonna stay as it is. Okay. But NaOH is ionic and aqueous, so it splits up into two Na plus, which is aqueous, and it doesn't split up into O and H. Remember that OH minus is a polyatomic ion. So that stays together. H2 and Cl2 are gases. So those are going to stay as they are. Gases don't split up, only aqueous and ionic. So that's the complete ionic equation. 2Na plus aqueous plus 2Cl minus aqueous plus 2H2O liquid plus the 2Na plus aqueous plus 2OH minus aqueous plus H2 gas, plus Cl2 gas, complete ionic equation. And to get my final answer, the net ionic equation, I cross out my spectator ion. So anything that's on the left and the right and appears unchanged. In this situation, 2Na plus fits that criteria. It's aqueous on both sides, so it goes away. H2O, there's no H2O over here. Chlorine, well, there's 2Cl minus over here. Cl2 over there, maybe, well, no, that doesn't work because this is aqueous and that's a gas. It has to be the same charge, same atom, same physical state to cross out. So we don't meet those criteria. So I rewrite what I have left. Okay, everything that's left over gives me my net ionic equation. 2Cl minus aqueous plus 2H2O liquid goes to 2OH minus aqueous plus H2 gas plus Cl2 gas. I double check my ratio, two to two to two to one to one. So that's good. I included physical states on everything. I double check my number, right? Two chlorines, four hydrogens, two oxygens. I'm 100% confident that I have submitted the final answer that's correct for this problem.